Here is the Colt Model 1903 Pocket Hammer, which is based off of the Colt 1902 Sporting Model, which is the turn of the civilian market variant of the Colt 1900 Sight Safety. This model is also missing a slide stop. The Colt 1902 Sporting and Military models had a slide stop, also along with the Colt Model 1905, the first modern Colt handgun chambered in 45 ACP. But without the slide stop, it makes this firearm ambidextrous, meaning that it can be used by left-handed or right-handed person. So of course, like most of my restorations, I always like to take grips off and then proceed with getting the magazine out to make sure that there are no cartridges left in the firearm whatsoever. cartridges left in the magazine do not appear to be that old um, maybe 10 years maybe 15 there's no way to tell sometimes on the cartridges but um, they're definitely not from way back in the 1920s or 30s anything like that so uh, we will just put them off to the side and move on most all magazine disassemblies are pretty similar you have to depress the magazine follower about halfway down the length of the magazine and then put a pin or something small enough to fit through the hole to hold the magazine spring in that place to then get the follower to come up to the top of the magazine without any resistance and it should come out fairly easily. But some other magazines do have a feature on the bottom of the magazine so you can take them apart that way which is easier than this method.
I did suspect that the firing pin would be broke because this happened a lot with these firearms because the firing pins were made out of bronze and beryllium copper, a little bit more of a softer metal that tended to break. This is the evaporus that I'm pouring into this container. I'm going to take all the parts, soak them overnight before glass bead blasting. That way my glass beads can last a little bit longer because it is not taking up so much rust and gunk off of the pieces at one time preserving the glass bead a little bit longer. So we will skip ahead right to glass beading now. As you can see on this part of the slide, the roll marks are quite faint on the back end until you get to the patented marks. It's a little bit better and you can also still see the Ranta Colt. And on the opposite side of the slide is the worst part. This must have been laying on something wet or moist for some time because the pitting is very bad on this side. And the barrel is sort of pitted evenly on both sides all around and as for the bore it, it looks pretty much shot out it's almost all gone the rifling lines are still present but it looks pretty much smooth with some frosty and pitting
I'll just one hand it. But... You good? You just got jammed. Please stand by. See if it can hit anything with no rifling. I had one more. I had a, I had a fly bite in my dang ankle. That's why I stopped for a second. They love them sweet ankles. So it's probably time for the penetration test with the ballistics gel. one in the back. I'm guessing it's going to make it through this one. <laughs> Caught them both. Backwards, just like the last time. There you have it, the Colt 1903 pocket hammer.